if you have been wondering if the Shein beauty line or makeup line caters to brown skin girls like us, then you want to stick around to the end of this video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Olua Joba. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please don't make it your last by subscribing. And if you end up enjoying this video at any point, please don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, I would love to hear your comments in the comment section below. Please leave me a message in the comment section below. All right, so today, guys, we'll be trying a Shein haul. So the other day, I was on Shein and I realized that, oh, they had a or they have a makeup line but i then went on the internet and then i wanted to like see what this makeup looked like and i didn't really see a lot of videos that catered to dark skin girls like me brown skin girls like me <laughs> so i then thought you know what let me try to order and try the makeup on my skin um i have a bag here of everything this is not the bag that the makeup products came in now i bought everything that i need for a full makeup look aside brushes uh beauty blender so i didn't buy any of their skincare products just because i really don't gamble with skincare so i've gone ahead to use skincare products that i normally use and i'm just going to use their makeup products so the first on the list is this this birthday skin primer and this is the packaging and i must say that the packaging of some of these products are actually not bad and uh, when you bring it out of the bottle this is what it looks like if you want to see a proper unboxing of this product um you can check my instagram handle i'm going to leave it on the screen and it also comes with a spatula which you are expected to use to dip into the product so i'm just going to take that wow it is white i don't know i'm very anyway let's just go so i've taken a bit i'm just going to go in and what hold up let me be sure that i actually bought the primer my god i'm just going to go ahead and apply this primer on my skin i'm going to blend it take my time to blend it and then see what that gives me okay so guys i have blended this primer to the best of my ability I have never in the history of me using makeup, and this is me being honest, used a primer that is white. Like when I saw it, it felt like I was going to apply a mask on my skin. Anyway, this is what the foundation looks like in its packaging. Bring it out of the box, it looks something like this. I really like this packaging. It's so cute and so nice. It has like a pouch that you put the foundation in. I wasn't sure uh in what shade i was going to be in so i bought two i bought the nutmeg and i bought the nutmeg and the mocha and this is the mocha and this is the nutmeg so looking at them they actually are very similar it's just that it looks like the mocha has more of a red undertone compared to the um, nutmeg so for today i think i'm going to go in with the nutmeg Especially because I don't understand what this primer is doing on my face. Well, let's go. So two pumps is what, and I think that the the coverage is not bad. I just feel like because the primer gave a white cast, you need a bit more to cover it up. So sorry, I had to go wear this to take my hair out of the way. Okay, so this is what we have. We currently have. I would say that the coverage is nice. I mean, it's not bad at all. And it's also very buildable. If you want a, a sheer coverage, you just go in with less products. And if you want full coverage, um, then you go in with more products. Just build it to the desired coverage that you like, right? All right, so now that that's done, I'm going in with concealer. And this is the one I got. It looks something like this. If you want to see the swatches, I have that also on my Instagram page, so please do check it out. Uh, but I'm just going to go in with the with this shade, this one here. The concealer is applying pretty okay, actually. I'm going to also go in with this as well. I'm going to just put that on the outer part of my face, like so. Going in with my beauty blender. This beauty blender is not for from Shein. 
but i'm going to go with my beauty blender and just blend all that out yeah the concealer blends in really well i love it love love it this is what my face looks like foundation and concealer all applied i'm going to go in with the powder uh, i bought their face powder instead their compact powder and i bought i love the packaging of this powder and yes the powder also comes with a pouch that you can just throw it in when you are not using it so this powder is too dark for me i cannot use it yeah it's too dark for me so i'm going to go in with my miracle cosmetics setting powder i'm going to use that to highlight under my eyes guys this powder is a dream mirror cosmetics it's a nigerian brand and they ship worldwide but it's an absolute dream all right so now that i'm done with a part of my face i'm going to go into my eyes i got the brow hold is what it's called this is what it looks like um let's just open it and this is what it looks like yeah so i'm just going to be applying a bit of it on my brows yeah it's clear it's, it's actually really transparent so i'm going to go in with products and i'm just going to use that on my brows like so okay yeah it does feel like it's doing something honestly use it to tame my brows and then leave it for a while before i draw it we are up to something good guys so if you want to achieve those very strokey like natural strokey uh brows then you actually need this so you use this to like brush your hair in place can you see guys and then you leave it for a while and then you draw your brows just following your natural brow hair all right so while th that is getting tacky i also bought the she glam insta feel brow pencil this is what it looks like in the packaging and it looks like outside the package guys i really love how thin this brush is so on, on one end it has the spoolie and on the other end it has the retractable pencil yes all right so i'm just going to use that to draw my brow okay guys this is an absolute fail um i think i went with the darkest shade of pencil that they have and i don't know if you can see but this is what it looks like on my face i really cannot see anything and the pencil keeps breaking so because of time i'm going to get my own pencil i'm going to go in with my ever faithful ever true davis pencil i'm just going to use that to draw my brow all right guys so i've gone ahead and have i have done my brows off camera i used the concealer and corrector palette to also highlight um my or define my brows and this is what we're looking like guys my skin feels very sticky okay maybe not very but my feel my skin feels sticky i don't get get that with my normal foundation i'm hoping that by the time i'm done with this video um the stickiness would have gone basically so i'm going to use this same palette as my base because i did not buy an eye base i'm going to use the concealer all over my lid to create like an even base for me to start working on i'm going to go in with their eyeshadow palette this was how it came yeah i decided to get like one that um kind of has like nude color so that if anybody's interested in getting it it doesn't feel too overwhelming um yes yeah, so straight out of the package this is what it looks like and this is what the palette looks like it is a beautiful palette i must say like the colors are really beautiful then it has a a film on it where the names of each um eyeshadow is written on i'm just going to freestyle i don't have like a look in mind like, um i'll go in with this purple shade this mauve shade um on the outer side part of my 
eyes okay first now i'll say is that the eyeshadow especially this color i'm going with is actually the matte is a matte like purple mauve color and it is not the easiest to blend so you might want to take that into consideration i've gone in to blend in these two dark shades together um to put that on the outer part of my lid and then i'm going to go in this let's do something like this i guess yeah the shimmery colors that they have on this palette i would say blend better than the matte shadows but yeah so this is what it looks like okay so what i did was that i went in with this first and then i went in with this just to give it a different feel i also bought like the liquid liner straight out of the package we have this when the cover is off this is what it looks like so i'm going to go in with this i'm going to use that to line my eyes Here's what we have guys i don't know this eyeliner everything is just my eyes just feels gummy and sticky and but yeah let's just wait to for it to dry out i'm going to go ahead and fix the lashes um i got this pack i was looking for like a pair just one pair but i didn't find anything if i remember correctly so i just went ahead and bought a pack of 10 pairs and i like this design that i bought if you guys see really small at the beginning and then it it's you know goes out at the end i really like it i feel like it would give a more natural like finish to the look i've gone ahead to put like adhesive on the lashes and i'm just going to apply that on my lash line um, i really like how this feels so I also went ahead to buy the mascara. This is what it looks like in its package. It says it's the only one volume and length mascara. So this is what it looks like on the package. So on one side, you have the big wand, right? And on the other side, you have the tiny wand. Which is really, really nice. Um, all right, so I'm just going to go in with the big one and use that to bring out my eyelashes. I'm blending the falsies with my own lashes. Honestly, guys, this thing feels dry. Honestly, no, jo no jokes. So, this is what we have for the eyes. Um, not bad at all, I would say. Not the best, but I mean, not bad. We can make it work, I guess. Uh, I'm going with this, with this, this dark shade that I use. I'm going to just use that to smudge the underneath of my eyes. So I'm going to go in with my powder. I'm going to use that to dust off the excess powder, setting powder that I have on my face. Ah, I forgot, guys. I actually bought liquid blush. Um, I usually don't apply liquid blush on powder. I usually apply it when I have not set my face. This is what it looks like. It actually looks really nice. This is what it swatches as on my skin. Right? Let me see if I can make this work okay not bad i think what do you guys think let me know in the comments i don't think it's that bad I prefer obviously to apply it before i set my face but i do not remember that i bought a quick blush so But yeah, it's not bad, guys. Actually, not bad. And so far, it doesn't feel sticky. So I guess that's good. And it has brought some color to my skin. Which is good. So I'm going to go, go in with this highlighter. This is what it looks like. I don't know what this thing is doing. I don't know whether it's blendy or not, though, guys. See? Wow. I just use a little highlighter guys. This highlighter, I don't know, it feels very white on my skin, but I made it work. 
and for the lipstick this is what the lipstick looks like he bought the lipstick in vineyard that's the shade shade out of the box what it looks like yeah this is the shade and when you bring it out this is what it looks like it's more like a purple yeah, this is it's like a deep shade of purple so i'm going to go in with brown pencil use that to line my lips I'm just going in with this. I feel like it's too dark for me. Well, for this look, I think. Um, so because my eyes are not that bright, so I'm going to go in with the concealer that I bought. I'm going to use the lightest shade there to brighten the middle part. All right, so this is what we have, guys. The so last but not least is a setting spray. Okay, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Guys, I'm afraid to spray this thing because... Ah, okay. It was look it's looking like gel inside it. But yeah, it sprays well. So I'm just going to spray that. Hmm. Guys, the smell is so nice. It smells like bubble gum. So this is what we have for the final look what do you guys think let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think did you do you think it came out nice first impression i would say that most of the skin products were not bad the foundation felt really nice the only thing is i feel like my my skin is sticky so but the shade but shade wise it wasn't bad these are the two shades that i got i'm probably going to, i'm going to be giving one out or giving both of them out because i have a lot of foundation at this point but i feel like the foundation match wasn't bad for reference i use a uh, shade togo in juvia's place i use shade mocha in nyx can't stop won't stop if you don't have enough money to buy like the proper foundation that we used to then yes you can get this um it's not bad you can wear it it's wearable i mean look at it the powder feels nice it's just that i feel like it was too dark for me so i couldn't use it but i feel like if it's your shade i think it would work the lipstick feels good on this on the lip it is not drying and you don't feel like there's something on your skin and it is not cakey as well so this is a plus is a yes for me the worst of all these products as you guys already know is the primer i have never in my life used a primer that looks white on my skin i have never in my life so this came as a shocker for me and i'm not going to be using it. i do not recommend it to anyone who is a brown skin girl i don't know how it works for caucasian skin but for my skin it is a no-no and please don't buy it don't waste your money don't buy it setting spray smells really good it smells like bubble gum but i don't know if it sets anything honestly but yeah it looks cute and yeah highlighter is a no for me i feel like some of these things because i'm a makeup artist i was able to like blend them in and work with them irrespective of whether they were good or not um for the highlighter i would say no like not a strong no but not a yes in my opinion um the mascara like i said you guys it feels like it's empty it feels like there's nothing inside but it is what it is this is another no for me i feel like the eyebrow this is it the design is good like you have the spoolie and then you have the brow pencil but the color of the brow of the pencil does not work on my skin like it was too light for my skin i had to use my own uh pencil to draw my brows and make it come out the way it did um the liquid eyeliner um it is not the darkest shade on the market it is not dark it is not as dark as the ones that i use so if you don't mind the color then yes you can get this but if you are not really good with makeup you just need to be patient when you are using this the fact that it is in a felt pencil makes it easy to use so it is a plus but um it is not bad i mean i've used worse <laughs> guys i have used worse eyeliners eyeliners that when you use them they feel very it feels like you literally put a stick 
on your eyes but this doesn't dry like that like it dries really well so this is a yes as well for me you can buy it if you want to buy it um it is not bad right it is not bad another thing that i, I liked was the brow gel or brow wax um i feel like this works really well i really liked liked it it really tamed my brows and it made the brows stay in place the only thing i would say is that when you apply it you have to wait a long time for it to dry because when you first apply it gives this um shiny feel to your brows but just wait a bit and uh, more time let it dry out not too dry but let's just be a bit tacky before you go in to draw your brows so out of everything um the things that i absolutely absolutely love i love the lashes my absolute favorite of everything that i bought love it would recommend it i love the blush the cream blush it is beautiful and i love the fact that i love it on my skin it is really really beautiful so i definitely recommend the blush i recommend this particular um lip liner or lip lipstick um i love the way it feels on my skin on my lip i love that it is not drying it doesn't even feel like i have anything on my on my lip to be honest the concealer blends in well it's creamy it's nice um i love the concealer as well the foundation i like except for the fact that guys my face is sticky it's no more sticky now i don't know whether because i used my powder to like blend everything in uh, maybe that's why but just a point to note if you're buying a foundation but overall i feel like shade wise they didn't do a bad job eyeshadow on the other hand i feel like it's beautiful it's pretty um just a point to note is that you might need to take an extra effort to blend in the matte shadows and the shimmer shadows when you pick them up it like scatters everywhere just a point to, to note but the colors don't feel bad to me like if you are not a makeup artist you are not a makeup guru um if you are just someone who wants to go to work every day and look good and not spend so much then yeah you can buy this i think i think that's about it guys if there's anything i didn't mention please let me know in the comment section below um i've mentioned the things that i like all in all i feel like it is not a bad um makeup line uh will i be buying it again me as a person definitely no and uh, that's because i have other brands that i already use and i absolutely love um sometimes really cheap is cheap but some of these things actually turned out really nice and i hope this video helps you um in making that decision whether to actually buy from them or not um yeah that's about it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope this helps you like decide if you want to buy or not i'm going to leave the link to everything that i use in the description box below and their shades maybe that would help you to decide on what to buy and yeah thank you so much guys for hanging out with me and please don't forget to like don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe to me if you are not subscribed already and i'll see you guys in my next video jesus loves you bye <laughs>